Hai, Assalamualaikum Ok, so we are going to continue with the second subtopic uh, for this lecture, for this module which is the inferencing Right, so what is inference? Inference actually is a process to search, control and comprehend knowledge in mind So basically when we try to remember something or when we try to conclude or decide something uh, our brain are very fast and we cannot actually uh, note what are the steps taken so this is actually a processes that our brain uh, process while trying to decide on something okay steps to get to the conclusion and basically there are two main method there is a forward chaining and backward chaining right so this is a case study for example okay to diagnose a black pepper disease Okay, Anyi, a Sarawakian black pepper farmer, noticed that leaves on his black pepper trees are getting yellowish day by day. So, he downloaded and used Dr. Ladder and apps to diagnose black pepper disease developed by UKM and MPB. So, this is the apps. Okay, so you can see that they can diagnose, okay, uh, and also they can have inform more information about the uh, pests and diseases. Okay, so uh, Dr. Ladder is actually an app that is powered by a decision tree to connect all possible premises into any possible conclusion. So for example, uh, if he start with down kuning, yellowish, okay, and he will be asked if there is any rhizomorph. And if there is, so they will say that this is conclusion that the diseases is number three and etc. Okay. So let's look, how do a machine decide the diagnosis using a forward chaining? Okay, forward chaining is a data driven. That means you know what is the data now, what is the facts now. So we start with the known fact and continue uh, finding a proof or finding facts until we can make a conclusion. Okay, so to start diagnosing, Okay, using a forward chaining, and you start what he knows, that is the leaves. So he choose symptom yellowish tree here, right? Okay, then uh, when he uh, answered no to rhizomorph putih, okay, because they will ask the second question, if there any rhizomorph putih pada akar, then and you said no. So, if no, they will ask the next question, which is, is there any hole uh, on the stem? Right. Then, he answered no again. Okay. So, when he answered no, so the machine will not go to Y equals 11 because this is yes. Okay, option for yes. So, option for no is asking the next question. Uh, Akaburo. Okay. So, he continues finding evidence on his plan according to the question prompted by Dr. Ladder. So, Dr. Ladder will ask if there is any, uh, is the pangkal chocolate kehitaman basah and berbau. So, he will check at that particular place. And eventually, he was told that his plants were infected by rotten root diseases. Okay, so this is forward chaining based on the facts that Ani have. Alright. So, I hope you can understand how to uh, read based on a tree, okay, uh, how to decide whether it's yes or no is depending on the fact at that time. Okay, so decision tree can always be changed or it is interchangeable with the rules. Okay, for example, from this uh, decision tree, uh, the first rule is down kuning and rizomo pudeh pada akar, then Y3. Okay, that's mean if daun kuning is true and rizomo putih pada akar is true, then Y3 is true. Okay, and then the second question is about this. If daun kuning is true and rizomo putih pada akar is uh, not true, then uh, we'll ask this question. Okay, ada lubang pada akar atau buku. Alright. So, if daun kuning and ada lubang pada batang atau buku atau dalam batang menjadi kosong atau kehadiran laba dalam batang, then it's why 11. 
Okay. Let's look at the last uh, example, number 3 here. Okay. Uh, if daun kuning straw and akar buruk, straw and pangkal coklat kehitaman dan basah atau berbau, true, then it's why one. Okay. Alright, so based on the rules, he chose the symptom yellowish leaf. Okay, and he answered no when prompted the question if there's a white result mark on the root. So that's mean uh, the first uh, condition is true, but the second one is false. So we cannot use the first rule. So we will look at the second rule. Daun kuning, yes, and ada lubang pada batang, buku, etc. Okay, so we will look at that rules. Okay, so I need have to look at the the rest of the condition. Alright, so he answered no when prompted question if there are a white rhizome off, and then he answered no again on the next question. Okay, so he will have to check at all this uh, condition. Okay, alright, because he answered no to the next question, which is ada lubang pada batang, buku, and etc. So, we will look at the rule number 3. Daun kuning, yes, and akar buruk. Yes, and pangkal coklat kehitaman dan basah dan berbau. Okay, then it is Y1. Okay. Alright, so if we look at, uh, if we follow the rules, okay, uh, the steps becoming uh, shorter. Just using 3 steps, 3 rules, then we can find that is Y1. Okay, but using addition 3, uh, we can see or visualize how the division uh, are made. Alright, how about backward chaining? Okay, we start with the goal or conclusion or what, whatever has been decided. And then we will go out to find what are the associated rules uh, uh, that has given us that conclusion or the goal. Alright, so prologue does backward chaining as well. Alright. So, based, based, uh, back to Anyi, our Anyi. Alright, so Anyi guessed or suspected that his plants was infected by this rotten root disease. Maybe his friend told him that. So, he read up about uh, uh, rotten root disease, Repo Akar. Alright, so he read up about this. But then he wants to double check whether this is correct before he buy, he buy all that uh, pesticides. Okay. So, he will have... Uh, he will look up on the tree. Okay, he will follow the path from node Y1 here. Okay, uh, to see whether all this condition is correct for his tree. So that is if he knows how to read a tree. Okay, so from here he will check is there any pangkal coklat kitaman? So if yes, then the next question is is it akaburo? Okay. Ada lubang pada bakar and etc. Okay, so similarly, if you track down with the list of rules. Okay, so with rules, you start with Y3. Okay, so oh, sorry, Y1. Okay, because we already have that. So if the conclusion is Y1, what are the premises? What are the condition? The condition is Daun kuning is true and akar buruk is true and pangkal coklat hitaman basahan bau is true. Okay, so of, if all this is true because this is N. Okay, remember logic N. N. So all the, the connected with N must be true. Then only it will lead to a true conclusion. Alright, so you have to make sure that all these three condition is true for history. Okay. And then we also have a uh, logic inferencing, okay, a model and also case based. So logic similar with rules just now, okay, because these are logic and or and etc. Okay, uh, and then we can, how do we prove logic? Okay, as we have to uh, try to explain to you before, we can have direct matching. Okay, we have this sentence and this is the uh, result. Okay, if A and B, then C is true. We can also use a finding of proof. There is inferencing, okay, uh, which sentence says that uh, condition now is that, for example. Alright, and also unification. Finding a set of bindings. Okay, finding a set of 
sentences that make a conclusion. Okay, next, uh, case based, similar, case based and model based. Okay, we want to use a similar concept but work forward or forward training in finding a similar case or model. Right? Okay, thank you. That's all for this module.